Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to control a stepper motor using L298 in motor driver and Arduino. The L298 in is a dual H bridge driver that is mainly used to control DC motors, but it can also be used to control small and medium sized stepper motors like NEMA 17 stepper motors. Let's have now a closer look at our motor driver. This motor driver is based on the L298N driver chip, which is this one attached to a heat sink. This is a dual H bridge capable of driving two DC motors or a single stepper motor. Then here we have four output pins, these two and this one here, where you connect the wires coming from the phases of the stepper motor. Then this side we have these four control pins, which is in one, in two, in three, and in four, which are used for controlling the speed and direction of rotation of the motor, depending on the pulse being sent to these pins. Then you have these two pins. This is enable A and enable B, which have jumpers attached. These are for enabling the motor. When the jumpers are removed, the motor will be disabled. Then here we have the power supply terminal. This first pin is the VS, which is the power supply for the internal H bridge of the L298N IC to drive the motor. Here we supply between 5 to 12 volts. The next pin is the ground pin. And the last pin is the VSS, which is the power supply for driving the logic circuitry for the L298N IC. And normally it's around 5 to 7 volts. Here we have the 78M05 5 volts regulator, which is enabled or disabled using this jumper here. So when this jumper is in place, this 5 volts regulator is enabled, and the logic power will be supplied from the motor power supply. And in this case, the VSS will act as a 5 volts output pin. So you can get 5 volts from here, which you can be able to use maybe to power your Arduino or any other device that needs 5 volts to run. However, when you remove the jumper, the 5 volts regulator is disabled and the logic power has to be supplied by a separate 5 volts supplied from this VSS pin. If the power supply is higher than 12 volts, you must remove the jumper to prevent damage to the onboard 5 volts regulator. And also do not supply power to both the VSS and VS pins while the jumper is in place. The major challenge of using the l 29 n motor driver to drive stepper motors is that it has no easy way of setting a current limit. Unlike other stepper motor drivers like the A4988 or DRV8825 stepper motor drivers, I have talked about these drivers in my other tutorials. I'll put links to these tutorials in the description below this video where you can go and make reference. So this motor driver has no settings for current limit. Therefore, you have to be very careful when selecting the stepper motor and power supply to use with this motor. The rated voltage of the L298 in motor driver is from 4.8 to 35 volts and can supply a maximum of 2 amps per phase. So the motor you use should be able to work in this voltage range and shouldn't exceed the rated current. Otherwise, you are going to have a lot of heat being dissipated which can damage the motor driver and even the motor itself. Let's now proceed to see how this motor driver can be used with Arduino in order to control a stepper motor. Before using this motor driver with Arduino to drive a stepper motor, it is good to know how this driver actually works to be able to control the rotation of the stepper motor. This driver works by sending a sequence of pulses from its control pins, that is from these ones in 1 to in 4 here, to the four wires of the bipolar stepper motor phases in order to rotate the motor in a specific direction. I'm going to use this simple setup to demonstrate what I mean here. So as you can see, uh, this is my stepper motor and these are the four wires. These two wires are coming from one phase of the stepper motor and these other two wires are coming from the other phase of the stepper motor. So in case you don't know how to determine which wires are coming from the same phase of the stepper motor and can give you a simple trick here to determine which of these wires come from the same phase. Let me use this motor here as an example. So as you can see here, these motors usually come when their wires are in order. For example, here you see that the green and black wire are from the same phase and then the red and purple wire are from the same phase. But in case your motor doesn't have these wires in order like this, what you can simply do, you can use an LED. You attach an LED to any of the wires. For example, if I attach on the black and green wire and then I turn the shaft of the motor, you will see the LED blinking, meaning that those two wires are coming from the same phase. If I connect, for example, the black and red wire and I turn the motor shaft, the LED will not blink, so meaning that those wires are coming from a different phase. So that is a simple trick that you can use to be able to determine the phases of the motor. So after connecting the phases of the motor here, 
Then you connect the control pins of the stepper motor driver to these switches. I'm going to be using these switches to be able to send pulses to the control pins here. So these control pins in one and in two are connected to these are two phases of the motor and then in three and in four are connected to the other output pins which are connected to the other phase wires of the motor. I'm going to be supplying the driver with 12 volts as I explained earlier when you have this 5 volts regulator jumper in place now that means that this other port is going to be acting as a 5 volts power supply so in my case I will just get this 5 volts power supply it's the one I'm going to be using to power the switches here so that whenever I press the switch I'm able to send the 5 volt signal to the control pin here then this control pin will be able to determine the movement of the motor depending on how you have wired your motor phases and the control pins then you can be able to determine the direction of rotation of the motor okay now i've powered up the driver and you see that whenever i press the switch here the motor makes one step if i power it makes another step so now depending on how you have wired your phase wires and control wires you discover for example here if i press in one in two in three in four my motor moves and clockwise if I want to move it clockwise, I will just reverse the sequence of the input pulses. And I'm going to be pressing 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 3, 2, 1. And now you can see the motor moving in a clockwise direction. So that's how you can simply determine the sequence of pulses to be sent to the motor to determine the direction of rotation. This is very important, especially if you are going to be doing your custom coding as I'm going to be showing you shortly. So from here, let's see how we can be able to control this motor using Arduino. This is how we are going to connect our bipolar stepper motor to the L298N stepper motor driver. As you can see, I'm going to connect the input 1 to 4 to Arduino digital pins 8 to 11. Then I'm going to supply my driver board with 12 volts. And in that case, I'm going to leave the 5 volts regulator jumper attached here. And when the jumper is attached here, I don't need to put any 5 volts supply here. Another common mistake that you can make is to forget to connect this ground from the board to the ground of the Arduino. So in most cases, if you forget to do that, then when you power up your motor, it will not run. Let me have a look at the code that you are going to be using to be able to run our motor. This is the code I'm going to use to be able to control a stepper motor using L298N motor driver. We begin by defining the connections for the motor driver to the Arduino board. We have our input pins 1 to 4 connected to digital pin 8 to 11 of Arduino. Then in the setup section, we declare the pins as outputs. And the loop section is done where we are determining the direction of rotation of the stepper motor using these four loops and some user-defined functions. So I have this step clockwise function. This one is a user-defined function here, which is made using the sequence of signals for the four stepper motor control wires that I have shown you earlier. And depending on the way your motor has been connected to the motor driver and the sequence that you have acquired in the step shown you earlier, for example, in this case, to get the first step in one will be high and all others will be low. As here, the second step in three will be high, others low. The third step in two high, others low. And then the last step in four high, others low. So this is what this function is, do, is doing. So this one is the clockwise function. And then the counterclockwise function will be the opposite of the other one. And then in the for loop, I'm going to rotate the motor twice by repeating the loop a hundred times. Because remember, here each of these functions takes care of four steps. And the stepper motor I'm using makes 200 steps per revolution. That means one revolution will be 200 divided by 4, which is 50. So you have to repeat this function 50 times. So in order to get two revolutions, this one has to be repeated a hundred times. That's the meaning of this for loop. If you upload this code to our Arduino board, you observe that the motor now will begin rotating two revolutions in one direction, stop for two seconds, and then rotate two revolutions in the opposite direction. From this example, you may have seen that it is quite challenging to determine the sequence of signals for rotating the stepper motor and even writing the code from scratch. It is good if you enjoy discovering new things or want to make your own custom project. However, for most people, this is not ideal. That's why I'm now going to show you how you can use a simpler method of controlling the stepper motor with Arduino using already made libraries. In this example, I'm going to be using the stepper.h library to achieve the same stepper motor movements like the ones I had before. So we simply include the stepper library in our code sketch and define 
variable to hold the number of steps per revolution. In my case, I'm using an MI17 stepper motor, which makes 200 steps per revolution. Then next, you create an instance of the stepper class, which you are going to name my stepper. And in the setup section, I will set the speed of rotation of the motor to 60 rotations per minute using the set speed function. And in the loop section, this is where I determine the direction of rotation. I'm going to be using the step function to turn the motor a specific number of steps using the speed that was set by the set speed function earlier. The motor is going to be making 200 steps, that is one revolution, and the for loop will repeat this function two times, meaning, meaning that the motor will be rotating two revolutions clockwise and then leave a delay of two seconds and rotate the motor two revolutions in the counterclockwise direction. So when you upload this code to your Arduino board, you observe the exact rotation of the motor like was before. So the motor will rotate two revolutions in the clockwise direction, stop for two seconds, and then rotate two revolutions in the counterclockwise direction. Apart from the stepper.h library, another common library is the Axel stepper library, which is also good for controlling stepper motors with Arduino. Since the programming is not very different from that of the stepper library, I'm not going to go too much into the details of how to use the Axel stepper library, but I've given examples of how to use this library in my written tutorial, which you can access using the link in the description below this video. Hope you've learned something new about how to control stepper motors using a 2988 motor driver and Arduino. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch and like my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.